Axel and the Forklift, written by Patrick South, illustrated by Sarah South. Axel loved construction vehicles. His favorite thing to do was to go to construction sites and watch dozers, dump trucks, and excavators do their tough work. One night before bed, Axel's daddy asked him, Would you like to hear a construction story? Yes, daddy, tell me a story about a forklift, replied Axel. Axel listened until his story began, wishing that one day he would be a forklift driver at a big construction site. Before long, he had drifted off into a deep sleep. When Axel opened his eyes, he could hardly believe what he saw. He was standing right in the middle of a construction site, and in front of him sat a big orange forklift. Hey Axel, said a man in the old safety vest, hop on your forklift. There was a truck driving in that I need you to unload. He wants me to drive the forklift, thought Axel. He was very surprised. Just then, a big flatbed truck drove up and stopped right in front of Axel. The truck driver rolled down her window. Hello, Axel, she said. I've got a big load of steel today, and it's all for you. Will you unload it for me? I sure will. I'm a forklift driver today. As he was climbing onto the forklift, he saw an orange safety vest and a hard hat with his name on it. He quickly put them on. They were just his size. I really am a forklift driver, he thought to himself. He turned the key to start the forklift. Vroom! The engine roared. Axel reached his foot down to push on the gas pedal and drove over to the truck. He was so excited. Axel slid the forks underneath the bundle of metal and pulled the hydraulic lever back. To carefully lift it off the truck bed. The bundle looked so big and heavy to him but the forklift picked it up with ease. Bring that steel over to the welder's axle, said the man in the yellow safety vest. No problem, replied Axel. I'll bring it right over. Beep, 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 sounded the forklift as he backed it away from the truck. Axel drove over the rough ground toward the building that the welders were constructing. The bundle of metal went clink, clink every time he hit a bump. As Axel got closer to the building, he could see the bright light flashing and the sparks flying as the welder welded the metal beams together. When he arrived, the welder came down from his ladder and lifted up his welding hood. Hi, Axel. I'm so glad to see you. I've been waiting for that steel all day. Can you put it right over there? You bet, replied Axel excitedly. He had never spoken to a welder before. He drove the bundle of metal over to where the welder had pointed and slowly lowered it to the ground. Perfect, said the welder right where I need it. Axel felt proud. Being a forklift driver was more fun than anything he had ever done. He was so happy. Axel backed away from the bundle of metal and parked the forklift. He soon began to feel sleepy. He yawned and rubbed his eyes. Axel awoke and found himself back in his bed at home. His daddy was sitting next to him. Hey, big guy, said his daddy. 
You slept right through my forklift story. It's time to turn out the lights now. I'll see you in the morning. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. Axel closed his eyes and happily went back to sleep, hoping to dream again about working at a big construction site. The end. Thanks for watching the trailer. If you would like to buy the book, it's available on Amazon or go to axelbooks.com.